Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell of Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to conditionally format a chart using VBA. So here's my scenario. I've got my data here and I've got a target. All data points that have met the target, I want to appear as, as blue columns. Anything underneath the target as red columns. So as I change the value, the target value uh, in E1 there, I'd want this to automatically update the chart. And the same if I change the actual data that the chart is showing, the unit sold, I want the chart to automatically update. Now we want the code for this macro to run every time a value changes on the sheet. Now, in order to do that, we're not going to save the macro within a module as we normally would. We're actually going to save it within this sheet object. Now, this chart is in sheet one, which is why I'm saving the macro there. So what I do in the code window is I go up here and I say worksheet. It gives me a default sub procedure based on selection change. That's the event, but I don't want that event. I want the event change and get rid of this first sub procedure that it gave me. Now I need to declare and set some variables, but rather than type them out, which will bore you, I'll just do that for you and then come back and explain exactly why they need to occur in the code. So I've set three variables. The first T is long, and essentially that is the target that I'm storing in cell E1 on my worksheet. The next is CH as chart. So that's uh, the active sheet. Within that, you've got a collection of chart objects and it's the one and only, so the first chart object in my sheet. And then the third one, S as series. So with that particular chart, you'll have various, well, you could have multiple series within the chart. I actually only have one, but I'm specifying the name of that series there within that collection of series, units sold. Now, the main bit of the code is going to involve a for next loop. And what it's going to do is loop through each point within this series, units sold, and it will run a couple of if statements that will basically work out whether the value at that point in that series is above or below the target. If it's above it, it will format the point in blue. If it's below it, in red. For this, for next loop, I'm going to set another variable, dim i as byte. So now I'm going to start my for next loop. So for i equals one to however many points there are in the series. So that's s points dot count. And then I can say next i at the bottom there. So within this loop, I need to work out whether the value assigned to the point is above the target or below the target. If it's above the target, make the column blue. If it's below it, make the column red. So let's come down the line. So I'm going to say if s dot value to so the first value is greater than or equal to t, my target, then s points the first point first point on the graph, we can set the interior color of it. So interior dot color, and we'll set an RGB value. So the blue I want is 51, 102, 204. Okay, so I need to do another if statement that does the same, but for the below target columns, which will be set with a red background color. So I'm going to write that out rather than bore you with it. So the second if says if the value is less than T, then the column essentially will have a red background color. Let's go back to the chart and change a few settings. So if I change this to 1000, you can see that 
it's only this January figure that is below that value, so it gets the red, which is 1,500. I get one more, 2,500. I'll start to get some more. The same would happen over here. At the moment, June is blue. I just scroll over, I can see the month name. Let's set it to 1,000 and it becomes red because it's below the target. Okay, that's all there is to it. A simple bit of VBA code. Thanks very much for listening. If you want to know how to actually create a chart using VBA code, I have done another video for that. I'll put this actual sub procedure on my website. There'll be a link to it in the description beneath this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe. I try and do videos as regularly as possible. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.